this is what we picked up here. So you can see there. Let's see how this guy goes together. Should be interesting. Comes with a couple anchors, but we'll probably use them also just for some extras. show up on the camera here besides one big ass one a couple of them and <laughs> they're all flying away there's literally probably a hundred dragonflies in the center here no not so many yeah trying to zoom in on them but they keep up flying away <laughs> but put that away for today and uh I got talked into going for a quad ride. <laughs> oh yeah, I had to twist your rubber arm so hard. Well, you did. So badly. So I'm still deciding where I'm going to put the tent thing. I'm still thinking right here because it's visible, easy to run an extension cord to. But I'll have to wait and see. Well, so I just cleared all this area out here. I got a very low spot right in here I need to fill in. But pretty sure this is where it's going to go. Again, the grass used to, I just cut like that much grass out of there. So yeah, we'll see. A little bit of filling in there it might be level enough well i just moved a whole shit ton that was up to there i was literally out uh, five feet all around uh, most of it's there that's you can't see but that's almost eight inches higher on this side but i still got a lot of leveling to do okay so i got that mostly leveled out here <laughs> and uh i just set it up a tent garage uh today's sunday it's a long weekend, so I got tomorrow to do it, but uh, the idea is here. I moved a lot of sand from here. A lot of it I spread out there to raise it up, flatten it. Now I'm just going across here. That's most likely stained, but I'm setting up a, a 12 by 20 uh, Shelter Logic carport. Only 8 feet high, just for the junk. So, <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a project for today. And this is probably already 3 yards here laid down, maybe more. And that's from the piles I used when I dug this area. But that's the project for today. And uh, just give myself somewhere to store some of this hoard for the winter. Uh, because this project here might end up waiting a little bit longer. But hopefully it doesn't. So fun, fun, fun. And it's so freaking hot today too. I don't know. Stars Rescue Helicopter. Huh. I wonder if they pick someone up back there. This is the ATV parking zone right here. So, you never know, they might have. There is a pickup zone right over there. Yeah. Oh, that's and interesting. They are going towards Winnipeg. Yep, never know. Well, I also picked up some 2x6x12s, pressure treated. That's going to be going underneath it, but just went in after taking a little bit of a, a break. Sun's starting to go down. But this was very low before. I just dug out a stump there, it's already removed. Starting to fill it back in, but. Uh, trees were right up to here so I opened that up a lot uh, you can see right about there that's where the opening used to, to be so I almost doubled the space for how wide this is kind of thinking of removing some more of these trees here uh, I'm talking about just the small little random ones like these guys and uh, of course leaving the pine but I think it'll be enough the way it sits like this <laughs> Okay, so there's the final product. Of course, a little bit of raking needs to be done. A little little spot right there, but I mean, it's not going that back, that far back. But I know it's really hard to see what was done here, how much higher it is, but it's a lot. <laughs> Again, there's trees that was coming out way over here before, so actually the dune buggies were sitting right about there. But there is two hills. You can see there, I that's what I got left for the hills. They were all about the same size. 
So there's another one back in there. This actually was a large one here, and that's what I just laid out. <laughs> just close, I think. Line them. But yeah. There comes, there goes. <laughs> well, that's the end of it. And uh, tomorrow, I guess I'll be setting up that shelter. <laughs> It's now Monday, and uh, windier as frig, which is not good for setting that thing up, but got to get it done. So, very windy out today. It's going to make it a little bit exciting, so I do still got a couple low spots there, but I'm going to lay out the wood first and kind of see where I got to work with. So, again, it's going to be 12 feet this way, so idea is later to remove this corner pole and to stretch the wire from this one across that one. Really, this actual whole fenced in area we don't need anymore. So, put a center fence in there, but we'll see. But super windy today. But good news is it's only going to get up to about 27 today or so Celsius. So, it shouldn't be that bad. And then, once that thing's up, we're going to start putting some toys in it. And that's going to be the rough size of it right there. Uh, Yes, the boards are overlapping. They're all 12 foot boards, but it's going to be 12 foot by 20. So I just threw those there quickly just to see where I need to uh, add some dirt in that very corner. Again, super windy day out, but just such a slight amount I got to put there. So, and if I need to put any vehicles in the back, I can either unload everything, drive through it, but there's going to be enough room for my truck through here, but I'd have to get rid of that hill. But Originally, I was thinking of building this thing actually right up in there, but this is going to be closer. So when I'm doing work, I got the table saw in here at the side here. Okay, so I'm thinking this is going to have to go. A little shrub right there. And uh, I'll probably end up clearing the land back up to here. So an extra four feet. But that's wind blocks. That tree there, I kind of want to keep it. It's not touching right now, but guaranteed by next year it would be. You see right there, it wouldn't be touching it right now. Next year, it would start touching. So, thinking I'm going to have to pull out that awesome looking tree. And they're all in a perfect row here, so that sucks. The other option, of course, is to move the building that way, but then there's less room to get through here. Now, you can see from there to that pole, that's about 12 feet across. So I might get away with moving this a foot more out. Uh, just kind of got to see. Again, where I put this down, I don't want to have to move it again. I want to be able to leave this, use it for the table saw, everything while I'm building the garage. Just somewhere to keep the saws and everything so I don't have to keep on putting them away. Hmm. I think that's good. Again, I'm not looking to make it perfectly straight. I want it on a bit of an angle here. Well, it's not laying perfectly flat on the ground, but I mean, I'm inside the bubbles on all, on that side, right there, and here, so I never checked the sides yet because I gotta cut the wood, but that should be perfect. Too bad it's so freaking windy out today. This is gonna suck. But the idea, again, is to put the dune buggies in it, the trike, go-kart, and uh, pretty much as much as I can, uh, and then leave room for working on wood in the front uh, or put stuff like my quad the loader stuff that could be moved out easy so yeah I know these tarp shelters are known to blow apart especially with the wind coming right down that tunnel there but the trees are getting fairly big that it might not be that bad uh, I am going to be putting I got those cement cylinders I'm going to be lining them across all these boards I'm going to be bolting the shelter to these boards so i'm going to be putting over probably close to 600 pounds of weight on it i'm going to be also anchoring in the ground i'm going to be drilling holes and hammering rebar in about three feet on each corner and then on the top of the rebar i'll bend it over i don't know if i'll be able to bend it but i'll figure out some way to hopefully keep this thing anchored down to the ground well i'm pinning them all every corner uh, with rebar 36 inches including the centers those two sides are already done and a square uh, Yes, I'm putting the boards up higher like that. I will be filling them in and uh, It's gonna work good 
that's the size close to these trees so these trees will probably end up being cut down before the end of this year but we'll have to wait and see and you thought they went in like butter it's no, sand I, never said that. <laughs> I know they do go in pretty good i'm the most inaccurate motherfucker on the face of the earth <laughs> when you hit it it actually goes down a decent amount yeah when i hit it which is like 10 percent of the time <laughs> Don't hit it that way. <laughs> I know, it's just that. Mm-hmm. Yo, you got six done? You got six done? Yep, that's the seventh one. And then I let it in the middle of the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Those are 36 inch pieces of rebar, so going 30 inches in the ground. They should be pretty decent to hold this thing down, and then everything's going to be strapped to this. And I'm also going to be stacking those cement cylinders along here, and we'll see from there. A few more hits. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. That's why this is the second layer oh yeah that's good perfect only took you a minute well this looks like it's going to be a nightmare i just put the tarps in there for now i'm loading some parts over there and it's actually fairly thick the tarp so it's meant to be 10 mil i believe they said so huh. now time for a 101 piece pickup mm -hmm. oh fun 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 yeah a whole bunch of hardware over here <laughs> So, let's figure out what we're going to do now that we got them all organized. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> Where's that one that was by itself? It's there. It's just at the end, okay. One oddball one. <laughs> well, it's getting together. A little bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, some of those angles look a little different from side to side. Like, that's bowing a lot more than that side. It's kind of weird, but I mean... I'm sure everything will straighten it out after, but it's got it sitting loose here for now, and then we're going to move it onto the platform after. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> like you see now, I'm going to have to put a little block there to bolt those guys down by the looks of it, but that's not too big of a deal. I'm. Oh, you're interested in that Honda Odyssey? Yeah, that one's a bit better for you. Uh, so this thing here, I just temporarily put straps across it locked it kind of in place uh stopping for today because uh to bolt these down i need to have washers i could use lag bolts but i'm just going to use decking screws and washers so they still all have to be adjusted a bit as you can see uh these bottom brackets here is what holds down the top so none of those are in a line yet but it fits on decently uh right up to the edge that one there just needs to be turned a bit not too big of a deal but it works it's going to work it might not happen to be the strongest uh but as long as it lasts a couple years it should be good so you can see everything's still out of adjustment but got the rebar in underneath here i still got to put some uh, sand or gravel or maybe i might even grab another two by six slide it underneath these uh try to tighten it up because of course uh there's a fair bit of flex still but it works i thought about just laying these side by side here but i decided to overlap them that's the reason why they're not quite touching the ground so those guys are in the center but or at least block it another block here block there not too sure yet but again this is the end of this video this area here cleaned up pretty decently so got rid of those two ugly hills and i still got roughly i think what was it seven feet there but it's not too bad well nothing else is happening this weekend so i'm going to wait till i go to the city get a couple dozen washers and go from there and just thought i'd show these tops here so 
they're pretty thick. They're the size of a thicker tarp, but I mean, it's gonna work. So now, does this thing come with two doors or just one? It looks like it might only have one door that it comes with. Uh, so I'll have to figure out something for the front. Oh, nope, there's the second one. Okay, so it does have two. So the thickness of that is pretty decent. Uh, the way I think of it, this one here should be the same thickness I put this up last year. It's holding up great. Uh, yeah, almost identical to this. That one there, that's 10 years old, that tarp. So not all in the same location. You can see back there how it's fading. Ripping, but that's well over 10 years of use. So this is heavy duty. So same idea as this stuff. I might even stretch another tarp over top it yet. Uh, I was also thinking I got that huge insulated tarp right there. I might end up using that. Hard to say. Well, that's the end of this. Probably only be one or two videos this weekend. Not much went on. And I just found two brand new tires in the trash. There is a third one, but it was well used. Uh, interesting for a mini bike project, maybe, but just got it before the garbage truck. Just, just seconds before the garbage truck. 